Thursday, I don't want to say every Thursday, but we went a lot back in the day. I'm just a random story to start off this here review. There's this place called Tuxedo Junction. I don't know if it's still open. I don't think I it's not. I remember it's in Danbury, right? It is in Danbury. Yeah. And it's not still open. Okay, yes, because the owner of it, which was like a 19-year-old or 26-year-old, someone really young, <laughs> went to go to jail. He bought it from, uh, what was yeah. the guy's name? Al? Uh, Fred. No. There was two guys that... The big guy, right? No, well, there was a guy who looked like, we used to call Randy Savage, who didn't look like him. He just had a beard. Um, and then there was the guy, the guy who hosted the beer pump. Oh, uh, hosted the beer uh, pump. Uh, Phil. No, I think it was Phil. Al. Al. James. All right, you just stop it. Ted. So, on Thursdays, now if you got there before 10 o'clock, it was free. So we, we would just make it and we'd rush just to save that $5. The reason we really wanted to save the $5, not that $5 is a lot of money, which I mean- At the time that was. Well, not even at the time. The reason why, because on Thursdays, it was dollar drinks. So if you're paying $5 to get in, that's five drinks you just wasted. So that's why we rushed to get in there. Sometimes we didn't make it and it sucked. How long ago was this? Because I used to go there too. 2004, uh, 5, yep. 6, yep. 7, and we stopped around 7. I, you'd say that, right? Yeah. That's we probably were there at the same time before we met each other. <laughs> Most likely. It's, it, it's a quite a possibility. <laughs> They also would have beer pong, and it would be all ages. Well, let me take that back. Not all ages. The place was 18 and over, but you had to get a wristband to go into the bar part. It's almost like at a concert. But for the beer pong, they played with old duels, so you could be 18 and play beer pong. Well, let me tell you about this fucking beer pong, okay? This is me. Uh, uh, they used the Dixie cups, okay? Not the paper ones, but plastic, okay? So those aren't regulation beer pong cups at any means. Then the balls, they were like legit ping, ping pong balls, okay? Elbows over the table, fuck it, they didn't give a fuck. There was this guy, we called him Booker T because he looked like Booker T and he liked wrestling. So we're like, Booker T, yeah, well, yeah, he was cool with it. Uh, he was really tall. He would just drop that <laughs> shit right in there. He would just drop it right in. We're like, what the fuck? Um, it was for money, so that was cool. Uh, mm. I won twice. Do you think any 18-year-old was not drinking because... <laughs> uh, no one drank the old duels because... It, no, no, one, there, no, 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 but I'm saying, <laughs> yes, I think there was... A, maybe they drank outside of there. I don't think anybody was drinking inside there. Yeah. It was... Mm. We, we would get yelled at, and we were of age if we went on the floor okay, with the drinks right. and stuff. So, um, I, I don't know why I keep... I'm going to keep going about tuxedos. Um, I do have to say, me and Marcio... What we would do is he would go up there and he would say one team name because you didn't have to be Mike and Marcio. You could be Batman and Robin. You yeah. could be Homicide and Smokes. These are names we've used. And I would go up tell one team name. He'd go up tell the other team name because it was elimination. So if we were on one side of the brackets and we lost, well, we just went on the other side of the brackets, <laughs> acted like other. We'd turn our hats around. We yeah, and uh, it worked one time, but. Dude, one time. <laughs> but no, no. But I'll tell you this. One time, we were against each other. Like so, it was oh, shit, so. it was Batman and and Robin against Marcio and Martin. <laughs> so and you had to play yourself. Batman and Robin never showed up. We we we, we kept our real names. And uh, you're yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you. Today, uh, the cereal that we're going to do is, well, you know, everybody knows who watches these reviews that me and Cinnamon Toast Crunch do not get along at all. Uh, except for Cinnamon Toast Graham Crunch, that shit was banging. But today we are doing Cinnamon Tunch. Tunch. tunch yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cinnamon Taint. No thanks. Um, well, actually, if I was going to pick a Taint flavor, Cinnamon is top three. <laughs> top three at least. Top three at least. Um, I like cinnamon rolls, you know? Um, so the only problem I have with this is I've seen an advertisement for this that says. Um, same great cinnamon toast crunch flavor, but in a roll. And that means it's gonna suck because cinnamon toast crunch is the most overrated cereal of all time. And it's it's really the milk's fault because it takes all yeah. the cinnamon off the cereal and then you're just drinking liquid cinnamon. And right. I love cinnamon, but no. Um, um, I was stated a stripper named cinnamon and she had many rolls. Many rolls. 
No. I mean, I, I didn't know her. Uh, <laughs> what timeline was this? I just I sit on the throne of lies, so it's a, oh, it's a, we don't call we don't stand for that here. All right. <laughs> oh, is that a dry snack? It could be. <laughs> oh yeah. Facial expression. <laughs> hey, listen. Might be a nice. Did I ever say I? Snack. I never said I'm never wrong. Um, this. It's good. Let me get one, just one, one single. Yes. Tom? Oh, sure. Oh, they even look like little cinnamon. Yeah. Ooh, look at the intricacy that went I'm into making this time I know who you are. <laughs> Yo. That's impressive. Like, for, for right there. Like, Eat it. I want you to, uh, you give me your score. I'm just going to tell you something. This dry. Ladies and gentlemen. This is an 8.2 dry. Did you hear what I just said? 8.2. 8.2 dry. Yeah. Tom? You don't give a number. What do you think? Is it good? Bad? It's not bad. I say uh, a little lower than you, but 7.7. Seven. Hey. Um, I'll give it a solid 7.5. 7.5. It's just because I'm not a cinnamon fan, but like it's, it's it is delicious. I like cinnamon. I can see seven five seven. Well, five. I like cinnamon. Yeah. And the stripper cinnamon. Now, whatever she made. Now, be. but let's see how the. Oh, goes. I know, because this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> you know, I felt like did I get the look of when uh, Stanley Ibgis sees Carmen Electra in the bank? Because that's... <laughs> That's the look I felt like I was giving when I had that in my mouth. It's like a cinnamon oatmeal. A scrot meal? Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> I like it better dry. Hey, that rhyme! That's a hey, bars. <laughs> Speaking of bars, what's your favorite candy bar? Oh, uh, Butterfinger. Or Payday. Payday. Butterfinger number one, Payday number two. Have you had the trouble? Or look, fuck it, uh, five, what's it called? Five? Take five? Take five. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I asked for one for sure. I know. So, uh, take five number one is my favorite. I'm sorry, I just had to go through my thought process. Take five. Do you have a score for this? No. Good. Uh, you threw me off with the fucking 16 choices you gave. I gave three. <laughs> it's literally three. <laughs> Butterfinger, Payday, Take Five. Reese's has a cereal, I mean, a cereal. Uh, I, yeah. A candy bar called... I know which one you're talking about. Crispy. Right? Yes. And it's a Butterfinger. Mm. It is. I know, but it's not like... It's not orange, you're right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's a 7-2. Uh, wait, wait, so you gave wet wet a 7-2, dry an 8 what? 8-2. Eight eight. It's, it's a better snack than okay. it is a cereal. Yeah, I agree, I agree. I feel like all my reviews, I give the cereal with milk uh, less score, yeah. which doesn't make sense, because cereal is 100% better with milk. It's just yeah. the ones I've been eating on camera are not. How about that? <laughs> hey, fuck off. You talking to me? Fuck off. Oh. Um, what's the what's the next part? What'd you say? I said. Fuck off. <laughs> I said fuck off. Celsius, call me. Man.